Hi students, just took the printout of OMR sheet to tell you that how to fill the OMR sheet in a most appropriate way. Many students, they complete their paper on time, but while filling the OMR sheet, they make a lot of mistakes, right? Sometimes they mark the answers incorrectly. Sometimes, you know, they don't follow the order. So today I'm going to tell you the most appropriate way to fill the OMR sheet. And I will tell you that how uh, the points that you need to take care while filling the OMR sheet. So make sure you watch this video till the end. It is going to be very informative for all of you. So students, before telling you about the OMR sheet, let me tell you that, uh, firstly you tell me, is my attire is fine for the NEET 2024? Yes or no? See, you can see the bottom part, right? So bottom part, it's neither too tight nor too loose. And I don't have the pockets here, then it is perfectly fine. But if I talk about my upper, my t-shirt, the collar is there, the buttons are there. And no doubt it is half sleeve, but collar and buttons are there. So it is not that appropriate. So let me show you what you should wear for your NEET 2024 examination. So guys, you can wear something like this. So you can see it's a plain colored t-shirt, v-neck is there and obviously half sleeve, right? It's not uh, mandatory that uh, you have to wear the solid colors only, okay? If, you know, some writings are there, then fine. But your t-shirt, your upper should not have too much button. It should not be too much printed, okay? So now let's talk about the OMR sheet. So students, here you guys can see this is the kind of OMR sheet that you people are going to get in your exam. If you look at this, this is for the roll number, right? You have to fill up your roll number here. Then you have to bubble it. Then test booklet number is there. Test booklet code is there. Here you guys can see this is the declaration by the students that all the particular signature on this OMR sheet, everything is correct. And you have to write your name here in running and writing like this. Okay, so you have to mention your mother's name here, father's name here, and your left hand thumb impression is required. And then, bache, your invigilator will sign. Okay, so you, this thumb impression, you will uh, put that thumb impression in the examination hall itself. Now, look at this part. This is your response sheet. So, you know that we have section A, we have section B as well, right? So, this is these are the question numbers okay so this part is for the physics this is for the chemistry this is for the botany this is for the zoology you have to attempt 45 questions from physics 45 questions from chemistry 45 from botany 45 from zoology of course it's not mandatory to uh, attempt all the 45 if you know the answer you have to mark it and that also i will show you so i hope this omr sheet right and everything written here is clear to you important update students i have applied nail paint on my nails and there is a finger in my ring but that is not allowed in the examination hall not even the watch so please take care of that now again let's talk about the omr sheet so students see no nail paint no ring and no watch is there so you please take care of such things girls right no need to wear the nail paint rings or even the watch especially the smart watch okay so now let's talk about the omr sheet so you all know about your omr sheet right so let's suppose your roll number is one two three four five six seven eight nine just imagine this is your roll number so now i will show you how to bubble it right and how to bubble it appropriately and students when you will go to your examination hall right after all that checking when you will enter your invigilator is going to tell you about your setting plan then they will check your admit card right and they will provide you this omr sheet you will get some five to ten minutes extra there right and no need to take your pen even they are going to provide you your pen and that will be your black pen okay so uh, right now i don't have black pen so i'm using the blue ball pen only but yeah they will provide you the pen as well so what you have to do you uh, you'll get your uh, roll number there your test booklet number and then you have to fill it so let me show you that as well so students, let's say your roll number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm just randomly picking some numbers. So 1 means this is what you need to bubble. So please observe it very carefully, right? right? So whenever you are going to bubble it now, so this ink, it should not go outside. Means if uh, there is just, you know, one dot or something, that's fine. Otherwise, you are not allowed to fill it like this. Let me show you here. Okay. You are not allowed to fill it like this. No, it is inappropriate, right? And if you will try to fill it from outside towards inside, that will be more convenient. This is just a suggestion. You can see this. So one and then here two. Okay, so from outside towards inside. This is how you should fill your bubble properly, right? Then this is the number three. So that's how you have to fill it. And here bubbling is important. So kindly reach there. That is your examination center on time. So now this is the number four. 
okay this is the number five so that is how you have to bubble it i hope it's clear this is same for your okay this is same for uh, the same way you have to bubble your roll number the same way you have to bubble your test booklet number as well right students so let me just show you and yes sometimes you know what what happened see this again sometimes now we bubble it like this when we are in hurry this Please, this is also inappropriate if you fill it like this no if you are just doing it like this no if you are just marking the dot here no that machine is not going to read your answer you cannot just mark it like this like this no so what is the most appropriate way again i'm repeating if you will fill it from outside towards inside that will be more convenient for you everyone okay so that is how you have to fill these bubbles again i'm telling you again i'm telling you you will get pen from in the examination center itself that will be a black pen okay and please take a print out of the omr sheet and keep practicing it it is very 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 important for you okay even if you are in hurry don't do this do it like this no 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 they are not going to accept your answer this is not right this is not right please take care of it it is the most appropriate way imagine you got your paper in the examination hall of course right now i don't have question paper so i'm randomly taking any paper from this book so students again i am repeating this thing there is no need to take your pen in the examination hall they will provide you the pen also right you will get your question paper so what is the first thing that you all should do pray to god no matlab you can do it but uh, first we you should just open up your question paper and on the question paper itself you have to mention all your name and roll number then start reading your paper this is my advice you should start reading the biology part first because that is the portion that we consider as the simplest one if your physics and chemistry is good you can start with the physics and chemistry as well so read your question even for the 5 minutes now let's say uh yeah in my paper i started with the yes i started with the botany part so we know that we have two sections section a and section b now obviously i am going to tell you about the omr sheet so just listen to me very carefully so when you read your question paper okay if you find a question very easy while reading it properly make sure that you are reading the question and the answers properly make sure you are marking that words correct incorrect right true statement false statement everything you have to consider then in that question paper itself with your pen you can just put a dot uh, you can just put a dot in front of your correct answer okay and you can just mark it this is what you have to do now sometimes what happen when you uh, start solving your paper right some students they think that they need to solve the complete paper then they should fill the omr sheet but this is the most inappropriate way as per me why because sometimes bachche you take a lot of time in solving the paper and you don't get sufficient time to fill the omr sheet omr sheet filling is equally important so it is my advice start with the botany part start with the section a when you are sure that you are done with the section a just take your omr sheet okay just take your omr sheet so now you know that we have the section for physics for chemistry for botany and zoology just check the question number first like here it is question number 101 and here also you have to check it is 101 so take you can fill it in uh, as a set like take first uh, answer first five question first then next five questions first this is what you have to take care now this is the one way second thing is sometimes what happen let's say you know the answer of question number 101 102 but you don't know the answer of question number 103 or you know the answer of question number 104 105 so if you will fill your omr sheet later after solving it all then there are chances that uh, you don't miss that option right you don't miss that question 103 and maybe you will fill the bubble there and that will be the inappropriate way again okay and uh, let's say by mistake by mistake i filled the answer here in the 103 but now i am thinking oh 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 i have to fill the answer for 104 so if you are thinking that you can put any whitener or uh, you can again answer the another question no no uh, you can again mark the another option no it will result in the negative marking so if you have made mistake it's okay it's fine ignore it then start again focus on the omr sheet and start filling it properly so again i am repeating bachche start filling it in sets like pick the first four question the next four question next four question like this right now the next thing let's say you are done with the complete biology okay uh, if you are planning to complete the biology then you are planning to fill the omr sheet it's okay it's fine if you can manage that but again i'm repeating it bachche remember the options like this let's say 101 uh, question number is having us uh, 3 is the answer then 2 is the answer then 2 is the answer so you can fill it like this 3 2 1 2 fill it in the omr sheet 3 2 1 2 again check the question number okay student this is my advice please after completing uh, 
the 10 questions fill the answers in the omr sheet that will be very easy for you and one more thing students uh, you know i hope you remember that that uh, on this sunday that is tomorrow you guys are having your aimt from 2 pm to 5 20 pm right bache so do give that exam because that is going to give you the feel of neat examination and the that will tell you about the true competition level that will tell you about your rank as well still after that paper you will get one week to analyze that okay you can improve your mistakes so please take care of that now come back to this omr sheet so again i'm telling you bache just complete the 10 questions first then answer it 10 questions first answer it trust me it is the most appropriate way for all of you now let me show you the another mistakes that you make in the omr sheet so students let's say now i'm going to fill my omr sheet so physics section a question number one let's say i know the answer please don't judge my answer so uh, the answer for question number one is two okay so i'll fill it like this so you can just keep your question paper here you can just keep your omr sheet like this right then you can check the question you will check the answer and you can fill it carefully let's say i miss that question number two and then i mark the answer of question number three so i'm going to check it carefully three three so answer is also three that's how you have to fill now let's say by mistake by mistake here right let's say question number four is having answer two and question number five is having answer three so instead of filling it here i filled it here then don't be like ki i'm going to cancel it i'm going to put a, cro a cross here or i'm going to put the whitener here no 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 it is already your marks will uh, you will not get marks for this right so don't try anything extra now okay you made a mistake in question uh, in marking the answer num uh, number four but mark the answer for the fifth question carefully okay so you need to understand that if you have made one mistake that should not affect other markings okay so be very careful about it so whenever even in physics even in chemistry and biology wherever you are missing the question you don't know the answer so while filling that uh, right while filling the omr sheet please please take care of that things right you will follow that tips again i'm repeating everything while filling the omr sheet please check that you have filled your roll number properly you have bubbled the uh you have bubbled that uh, numbers properly right then same for the test booklet number as well make sure before uh, giving this omr sheet to your invigilator you have signed it right you have uh you know put the, your uh, thumb impression there and then again for the answers always remember the first column is for physics right the second is for chemistry then botany and zoology so do check the question number okay again please don't leave the omr sheet uh, uh please uh, don't think that you will fill the omr sheet after completing the paper again i'm telling you solve 10 question then fill it solve 10 question then fill it and please take a printout of the omr sheet and start practicing it so uh, if there is any other doubt do let me know in the comment section guys and stay tuned to our channel that is an academy need english again i'm telling you tomorrow that is 28th of april you guys are going to have your mock test your last mock test and in the description box there is a link you can register yourself in aimt for free right there will be a proper competition in that test you will get your ranks right and and you will be able to analyze your marks your final score before your neat examination so it is a kind of last mock test for you and uh, next sunday there will be the neat examination only okay so all the best take care i'm pretty sure that you guys are going to manage it well